Oh man. Woo, check out this part right here. We are at the CP6000 from Heller. This machine is an absolute monster and it is built for machining monster materials. Inconel, titanium, Hasseloy, you name it. If it's hard, you can actually machine it on this machine right here aggressively. Now, check out this part. This is a crazy part. It doesn't look super complicated, but when you start looking at these small holes with the threads with a smaller hole that goes all the way down and intersects down here then you start realizing oh wait there's some things that could go wrong this material right here is monel k500 this is an actual part it's an actual rocket part now why did everything just change when i mentioned the material because material is everything. Tolerances is everything. This entire surface has to be within two tenths flatness. It has to be absolutely perfect. And when you're dealing with a material that is so hard that as your insert comes across, the insert can actually wear on one stroke, then you're talking about difficult material and difficult machining and high level stuff. Ah, oh, check out this bad boy right here. Nice big old piece of K500 raw material because I'm actually doing a crazy part on this. I'm doing a tutorial. I'm gonna teach you guys the entire process, all tools, speeds and feeds, everything, English, metric, all that. And guess what? By the end of this video, we're gonna show you drilling and milling. We're gonna give you speeds, feeds, english metric all of it so make sure you stick around and if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button it helps us out hit the like button put your comments down below what other materials do you want to see on titans of cnc we will talk about it we will educate we will machine on it boom love you guys all right let's continue on when you master legit materials that is when you get paid that is when you show your worth. Now, just the other day on Saturday, we dropped a video about Ink and Elm and everybody was commenting on that video and talking about how tough that material is to machine. And when I saw the material and I saw all the comments, I was like, man, everybody actually loves this. So how about I actually just turn on the camera real quick and talk about an awesome material that's one step above Ink and Elm. And not a lot of people have actually heard about it and it is Monel. So you have Monel 400 and you have Monel K500. They're pretty much exactly the same material, except K500 has a yield strength that is three times that of 400. All right. And then when it comes to tensile strength, it's two times. If they're basically the same material, then how did K500 become so much harder than Monel 400? Well, it's all about the hardening process. You take Monel 400 and you actually melt it down and then you add in small amounts of aluminum and titanium. Then you do a ramp up on heat up to 1600 degrees and you hold it for 16 hours. Now in that molten state, the aluminum and the titanium actually completely melts and distributes and collects all along the grain structure of the material and crystallizes. And that's how it becomes incredibly hard. So it goes to 1600 degrees, you hold it for 16 hours, you drop it down to 1000 degrees, hold it for another eight hours, and then you continue that process. And when it's done, the 400 becomes the K500, and trust me, it is hard. Now when looking at like hard materials, you always hear this word, super alloys or nickel alloys and that's because of the presence of nickel nickel isn't necessarily the hardest material to machine but it's nasty it's gummy now when you look at ink and l you're in the 50s so 55 56 57 58 percent nickel and then you add in chromium to create the ink and l with a few other things in there but those are the main two right there at 56 to 58 percent nickel ink and l is nasty right but when you go up to monel when you go up to the 400 we get up into the 62 63 sometimes 67 percent and then it becomes extreme and now instead of chromium we add copper now why is that such a big difference well chromium is hard and when it comes to machining hard materials they usually machine easier than gummy materials because the chip breaks cleanly but when it comes to gummy materials or abrasive materials it causes its problems and you put that with nickel so 
copper with nickel, it becomes a nightmare for 99% of all machinists out there because it's just nasty stuff. Then you take it to K500 and boom. But remember what I said, if it's hard, you can break a chip. And that's what we're showing you right now. K500 is machinable. And as you saw from the part I just showed you, we've machined a ton of parts from K500. One of the things when you step up to K500, you can have a material this big and that is like $4,000 just for the material. So already everything is elevated because if you break one drill, you got major problems. Now, when you look at K500, you have to look at the characteristics of it also. Not only is it hard to drill, but if you generate too much heat, you're going to work harden the material and make it impossible to machine. So your speeds and fees have to be absolutely dialed. And that's something that we do every day on the Aerospace Academy and on YouTube and across our platforms is teach you the legit skills to machine all materials efficiently. So now I'm going to give you two examples how to correctly machine Monel K500. First, we're going to use the Harvey 3 end mill. We're going to go at 180 surface foot and the chip load, the inches per tooth is going to be at 0.0025. So we just finished the K500. It looks absolutely beautiful. Chips look amazing. The machine sounding great. The Harvey 3 end mill still looks absolutely perfect. If you try this with a regular carbide end mill or other carbide end mills, you're gonna break these tools. So we're using the Harvey 3 from Canametal. You know you can purchase that with the best prices online from titansofcnctooling.com. All right, I gotta get the plug in because that is what funds the free education is you guys helping us with the store. Now, when it comes to drilling, we're actually going with the Go Drill. This drill, you can pretty much machine all materials as I've shown in previous videos. When it comes to Monel though, the range on the surface foot is about 30 to 100, but we're gonna put the surface foot right at 70. And when it comes to the feed per rev, not inches per tooth, but feed per rev or inches per rev, the range on the half inch is about 3 thousandths to 4 thousandths, so let's just split it 0 0.00 three, five, boom. For all you metric lovers, we got the metric values also, boom.
All right, so you know what's cool? This drill right here was actually used when we got started, all right? And now it's actually drilled seven holes, two inches deep right through the part, and it still looks perfect. A little bit of education on the Monel K500, boom, to help you guys take your skills to the highest level so you can go quote that work, you can get the work, you can make it when most people will fail because they don't see these videos and you can make money for your family and help us increase productivity right here in our country. And if you're in other countries, increase productivity in your own country, put people to work. Let's go, manufacturing, baby, boom.